I'm an addict for Snickers. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building, youtube.com forward slash the sneaker addict. I go by the name of DJ Dells. Brand new review here on the Air Jordan Retro 9 Olives. I know I have not reviewed these yet. So many people keep asking me, what's up with this review? How do you not have these yet? How did you not review them? What happened was I just got so much new stuff. And these things just got lost in the sauce. So let's get right into it. So we got a black leather on the upper. It's a full grain leather. And we've got this olive new buck right here. Wraps around the shoe. We've got the 23 here stitched in in that olive red globe with black around the globe with the pull strap right there. Bong. Then we got on the inside a black booty. Booty. Boop, boop, booty. <laughs> Red jump man inside. You got a black tongue with the air joining going across in red. Black rope laces. Black on the eyelids right there. Black mid soul soul soul. Black bottom with the jump man here. This Jordan here was really a Jordan for the world. Jordan was just such a worldwide sensation. And this one was made just to show love to the whole entire world. You got a lot of different sayings from a lot of different countries and whatnot on both bottoms of the shoes. Of course, you got the globe here. So there's a lot of inspiration with that. And also baseball. For you young dudes out there, he never played basketball in these. He actually retired and then these shoes came out. Definitely has like a baseball feel to it, like the way it looks over here with the stitching and whatnot. And even over here, kind of like a cleat. So um, this has a lot of inspiration with baseball and it's a shoe just um showing love to the world definitely got that global wave going on right there let me show you what these look like on feet and we'll be right back leave your comments in the box let me know what you guys think real hot sneaker real classic people that have been into jordans for many many years remember when these came out and I've been looking forward for these to re-release like myself. Wasn't able to get a pair back in the days when these did come out. So, now I have the opportunity to get them. And I got them. And I hope everyone that wanted them back in the days that was not able to get them, got them now. And I hope anyone that's just getting into sneakers now that wanted them, got them too. You know what I mean? Everyone has to start sometime. But yeah, man, leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think of these. And let me hit you with that infamous burp, 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 all right, so you saw what these look like on feet. Leave your comment in the box. Let me know what you think of these. Let me know if you picked up this retro version or you passed. It wasn't really a general release. I'm pretty sure it was kind of like a quick strike because it wasn't in a lot of shops like some of the other Jordan 9s that have released, like the Photo Blues. But all in all, I wanted these retros. I wanted to get them to rock, and I got them, and these will be going on my feet today. With that said, hit the thumbs up button if you love what I'm doing. Make sure to check out my blog, thesneakeraddict.com, morning, noon, and night like clockwork. And follow my Instagram, the real DJ Dells is my Instagram. And also follow my Twitter, twitter.com forward slash DJ Dells. And with that said, I'll be back really, really soon.